Hey everybody, I am Steve Whalen with Relentless Filmworks. Welcome back to Backstage Pass, where we offer nuggets of wisdom for actors with experts in the field. And today we're here with Shannon O'Dowd, TV host extraordinaire, uh, working TV host. She's done countless national and international campaigns. Uh, such as Arrowbed and Keurig, who's hosted on QVC, yeah. um, among many other jobs. So basically, I think what we're saying is you're not waiting tables anymore, is that it? I know, which is good for everyone, because I was probably the worst waitress ever. Dropping stuff, I couldn't remember orders, it was a nightmare. <laughs> so multitasking is not your thing? It's not. You know, they say that women are supposed to be really good at multitasking, but I missed that gene. It's hosting is more fun. It, yeah, hosting so is So tell fun. us about hosting and tell us how, you know, how did you get into it and, and you know, what, what, what's, what's the world of TV hosting like? Well, that's a really interesting question, especially these days. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's, TV, as you know, is all going digital and there's just all these networks popping up and people are mm -hmm. watching their entertainment in all kinds of different ways. So it's kind of the wild, wild west a little bit, right? Absolutely. Like 10 to 15 years ago, you were either on a game show, you know, maybe you hosted a home improvement show. Like there was, it was a little bit more defined, yeah. but it's really just not that way anymore. So, um, but I do teach hosting. I've been teaching for about 10 years. And um, I think because of all these things I've just mentioned, I try to touch ba touch on each one of those things. I try to have a, a night where we do, we talk about infomercial hosting, mm -hmm. a night where we talk about reality TV hosting, um, shopping channels, entertainment reporting, press junkets, mm -hmm. uh, red carpet, um, talk shows, morning shows. I mean, there's just so many little areas now. And now you have this um, this boom of Instagram and uh, influencers. So there's kind of that whole other world where you need to be able to talk well on camera if you want right. to do YouTube videos. And, you know, so it's all these things now. So right? you're embracing the, the idea of being a jack of all trades as an actor. You know, you don't just have to do to do one specific thing. You can do a lot of different things. You know, absolutely. And I think that's a really good point for, um, for actors. 10 years ago, it was super taboo if you wanted to be a respected actor to be on a reality TV show, right? right? It's like, I can't audition for real world because then no one will take me seriously if I want to be on a TV show, right? Yeah. But that's just not true anymore. You can be uh, an influencer on Instagram and talking about, you know, mixology or makeup or whatever it is that moves and inspires you. And having a bunch of followers is actually going to be a bonus Big time. When you get in front of networks, because you're actually focus group tested and approved, and the network knows, hey, people like watching this person. So, so. keep building up those social social media sites, guys. Keep that keep those followers coming. Yeah, it's now, not it, a bad thing anymore. Absolutely not. I was going to ask you if if you were say you're an actor, how, how would you how would you get started if you if you had an inkling to host? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, if you wanted to train. Um, there's a couple of classes in town in Los Angeles mm -hmm. where we are. Mm -hmm. um, I teach a class at Killian's Workshop. Awesome. There's also a couple of other ones in town, about three now, I think. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's a great place to be. We love Killian. Killian's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's so, awesome. And I've been Can teaching over there for a couple of years now and very much in that format, which I just talked about, where each night is kind of a different. So at least you can dip your pinky toe right. into each area. And to see if you're even good at it, because maybe. You know, five out of ten actors maybe aren't a good fit for that for that work, but at least they can they can find out. Well, that's interesting that you bring that up because um, I think that having at least some training for hosting in your tool belt is super valuable as an actor. I mean, especially whether in you end up hosting or not. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Especially I love that. in today's climate, especially if you're going out for commercials. For sure. Those spokesperson jobs come around mm -hmm. where there's yep. about this much copy. It's supposed to be all into the lens. That's hosting. Yeah. You know, so having a hosting class under your belt, that's going to serve you no matter Absolutely. what. You know, I always tell ho I, I always tell actors, mm -hmm. you should take a hosting class. You should take an improv class. Yes. You should take a voiceover class. Yes. You need totally. to have a full rounded out skill set, not just scene study and audition technique. It's just going to make you a more well-rounded, versatile artist. So smart. That's such so, good advice. Oh yeah. man. So now, now it's not just actors that you work with. I'm really fascinated by this area of, of work that you do with, with say somebody's an esthetician and has a product line. Um, how do they get to the next level? How do they, so tell us about your, your media training. 
Yeah, so, uh, well, I'm going to explain what media training is. What is media <laughs> training, I should say, because it's kind of new and innovative, isn't it? I don't know that it's new and innovative, but it's amazing how many people don't know what it is. Well, it's not amazing. I guess it makes sense. I've just been doing it. So, uh, But yeah, media training is really taking somebody who's at the top of their field, whether they're a makeup artist mm -hmm. or um, an architect or an interior designer, doctor, lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, they're amazing at their field. They've been doing it for decades mm -hmm. oftentimes. Um, and they're wanting to be the go-to person for that expertise on TV. So maybe they want to be considered for, you know, home makeover shows if they're a DIY person or interior designer, or maybe they want to do appearances on the doctors if they're a doctor, you know, and talk about a certain area. Maybe they're a dermatologist. Whenever they have a skin thing they want to talk about, they bring on that dermatologist. So I help those people who are incredibly established professionals take their uh, profession, their expertise, mm -hmm. and deliver it in a compelling, interesting, concise, uh, just really watchable way on TV. So it's basically taking what they do and mm -hmm. translating it so that it's it's good for camera. That's so cool. I yeah. bet you're, uh, you're I bet you're so great at that. Thank you. Yeah. So that's news appearances, morning shows, talk shows, press junkets. Sometimes you know it's it's kind of all that stuff. I love that. We yeah. love Shannon, our dad. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank so you. So now, if we were to take some private classes with you or to find out a little bit about um, your TV hosting privately, mm -hmm. where would we go? Uh, my website is expertmediacoaching.com. Expertmediacoaching.com. And yeah. if we wanted to take a class at Killian's Workshop. Yeah, Killian's Workshop. You can just look him up online. He's, He's very searchable. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to, um, I have an online course uh, for on-camera training. It's a lot of media training, but there is a teleprompter module in there, which is great for everybody, as well as kind of on-camera on technique 101, very cool. which is great for hosts. So that's under expertmediacoaching.com under the courses tab. Um, and then obviously I've got the private coaching and Killian's as well. So you're a busy so. gal. You know, I, I do. I do keep busy. I, I try. Love it. Yeah. Shannon, yeah. thank you so much for coming and helping us. I, I I hope this gives you some food for thought. I'm Steve Whalen. Uh, we're Relentless Filmworks, and this is Backstage Pass. Thank you so much. Bye.